everyone, it's Megan and welcome back to my channel. Yeah, I have no explanation why I've been gone for so long besides the fact that I've been swamped with school and just life, man. You know how life is, right? Just But don't you worry, because I have stuff that's going to be amazing to come back with. <laughs> One of my favorite videos to record and for you guys to watch, I've noticed, is my Japan crate boxes. So people love to see me try Japanese candy for some reason. <sighs> I don't know, but hey, I get to eat, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> this box of Japan crate has a theme for... Attack on Titan! Woo. So Attack on Titan is a anime, and I actually don't know much about it because I've never seen it. I know. Don't kill me. Let's just be honest, the only anime I pretty much watch is Sailor Moon. Disclaimer, I will not eat anything with meat, so if there's any meat flavoring or any of that such, I will not be eating that, and I also don't eat any spicy food, so any meat or spicy, spicy foods go to family. First, I shall open the box. As usual, I have the little index glossary, whatever, of the different foods and what they are. On here, there is Attack on Titan drawing. And on the back, there is another drawing as well with a little synopsis on Attack on Titan. I will read that on my own later. Okay, this is so cool. So when they first open the page, remember you always open from the back to the front. And you open it, it's manga. It says Japanese anime kind of book thing. Comic book. Sort of. And then the second page is all the foods that come here. Third is a little map of the places. More food? Hey! Oh wait. No. I just went back to it. Stupid American. There was also this little card that came with it that fell out of the little manual kind of thing. We're just gonna start picking things and I'm gonna read whatever they are when I pick them out. Ooh! Ooh what is this? Okay, so there's is some sort of liquid in a little tube. Oh, apparently it's jelly. Kon Konyaku jelly. Let's read it to make sure. Konyaku jelly stick. Konyaku, I'm saying this definitely wrong, but Konyaku is from the konjac plant that grows in Asia that gets processed into flour. It mixed with water and lime water. It has almost no calories and is high in fiber so you can eat this completely guilt free. <laughs> Warning, konyaku does not dissolve like gelatin so to prevent choking it must be chewed carefully especially by the very young and elderly. Oh wow. So it's kind of like jelly or jello but it's not. Dun 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 Mm. Alright, so pretty good. It tastes almost exactly like jello. You just gotta chew it a little bit more. I actually really love the flavor. I was kind of a little scared, not gonna lie. But I think I'd give it like a 7, maybe 8 out of 10. 10 being the best. Alright, let's pick our next item. Ooh, okay. 
Onigiri Senbei. Senbei is a staple of traditional Japanese snacks. Typically, they are shaped into circular discs, but they are specifically, specially shaped into triangular onigiri rice balls. So, I'm guessing this is rice. Not rice, but like rice. Made out rice, but not, yeah. Put it in your mouth, Megan. Hmm. Hmm. So it tastes exactly like a pita cracker to me, but a little bit thicker. I kind of like it. I think it would be like really good with like a slice of cheese or something, or even by itself, or a little dipping in salsa. It's really good. I think I'd give that an eight. So far, so good. Time for the next item. Mmm. Okay. Got a little jelly on here, but this is what that looks like. This is Uma Salt Potato Chips. Sasha would agree that there is no such thing as too many potatoes. These chips are perfectly salted and have a tasty umami flavor thanks to a blend of bonito flakes, dried anchovies, and kombu. But do not fret, they are not fishy, just savory deliciousness. Okay, he said it's not fishy, but I'm just going to check in case that they're not fish. Because I do not eat meat or animal in general since I am a vegetarian. Alright, so I did check the ingredients and thank goodness I did. Because bonita flakes are apparently like basically tuna flakes, ground up flakes of tuna. So... That's not going to be something I'm going to try, so if you get this and you want to let me know if it's good, just comment below. Next item. Oh. Okay, I don't know if this is a snack or just like kind of like funny glasses. Let's find out. Henshin Transform Glasses. You, too, can transform into a manga character with these fun manga-inspired glasses. There are 48 different styles. Which one did you receive? Well, let's find out, because I don't know. So this came with it. I don't know if it's edible. It's gum? Oh, it's gum, I think. Well, gum's pretty cool. Mmm. Mmm. This is Bramune flavored gum. I love Bramune. These are my little glasses. Oh my god. I can, can't see really of anything. I feel like people who actually know the anime would appreciate that more, but for me, I'd give it like a five. I mean, the gum was alright, but it couldn't blow a bubble with it. Not enough. Alright, next item. Ooh, I think this is the thing that I like a lot. It comes in with these all the time. Big Bar Z is the Titan size version of the smaller original Bar Z. This light crunchy puff is converted into a white chocolate to emulate a sweet milk flavor. Alrighty. Like it said, you're getting this sweet, milky flavor, and it almost tastes like you're eating cereal. So it's pretty good. I think most people in the world like cereal, so... Guys, if you want it, I'd go get it. I'd give it like a... 6, 7... Not that it's bad, but... Maybe... Maybe a little more to it. Maybe. Another item. Here you go. This is Black Thunder Kinako. We can't all have our own thunder spears to fight titans with, but we can draw strength from Japanese favorite Black Thunder. 
This time it comes in Kanako flavor, infusing a sweet soy power in the milk chocolate. Hello? Is it me you're looking for? I can see It tastes like coffee, which I'm really not a big fan of. So I'm gonna have to pitch this and give it a zero. I don't like that. Did not like that at all. Next by you know. Oh, 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 if there's a drink, there's a drink. <gasps> Whoa. This is what it looks like. Ooh. It's like white. butcher this word for sure. Gaboon, Gabunomi White Cola. Trick your friends with this white cola. The color won't make you believe that this tastes just like cola. Plus the delicious taste will make you want to guzzle it down just as the word Gabunami suggests. I'm guessing means to guzzle like they said. So apparently this tastes exactly like Coca-Cola. Smells like cola, that's for sure. Tastes exactly like Coca Cola. Wow. A little different, unless it's like from what I was eating before, but still pretty much the same basis, which is really cool. I like it. I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a six. It's neat, it's interesting, it tastes cool, but I don't think it tastes exactly like Coca-Cola. Next item. I feel a big boy. Woohoo! Woohoo! Alrighty, what is this big boy? This big boy is called Potato chips, salt, and Hokkaido kombu. You won't be able to resist stealing these potato chips. These special edition chips use carefully harvested potatoes from Hokkaido for an especially delicious taste. The kombu flavor has a unique savory flavor that has a fourth or meaty taste, so you can snack like a titan. Let's find out what it really is. Oh wait, we looked up kombu already. Kombu is just seaweed, right? Or kelp. Kelp. We good. We good. We all good. No worries. And if there really is meat, hey, we just won't call Megan. Teacher Megan. Don't. If it's meat, just don't. Don't tell me. Because otherwise I'm going to cry. Ooh, what are these? 
what are these? It's a little froggy on them. Hopefully they're not frogs. Cabbage taro. There is actually no cabbage in these at all. They are covered in a rich Japanese brown sauce and seaweed that makes the pus look like little cabbages. Though the manufacturer does not confirm or deny that this is the reason the snack is called cabbage taro. <laughs> okay. So, it's not actually cabbage, but it looks like it. We'll find out. I don't think I've ever had cabbage, so I probably wouldn't know. Looks like this. See that? Am I too close? I don't know. It's like a little puff. These are pretty darn good in my opinion. They have a sweet, savory taste and I really like it. I'm gonna probably finish these later on tonight. I'm gonna give those a nine. Next item. <gasps> Focky! Everyone loves Focky. If you never had it, you must have it. And if you say you don't like Focky and you have had Focky, there's the door. Not there. There's the door. I'm just kidding. But I love Pocky and I just introduced my aunt actually today to Pocky. She had the banana flavored and she loved it. So I'm a fan. So they're called Colorful Shower. And there's like a little beach looking one. And a fireworks one. So maybe it's like day and night. Let's find out. Lemon flavored Pocky Colorful Shower to celebrate the new year. Yes, I haven't opened this, even though this was supposed to be during January. Hey, life! <laughs> Take a bite of these special lemon cake flavored Pocky. The colorful shower of sprinkles makes it feel like a celebration. Did you know Pocky comes from the onomatopoeia for chomping down pocky pocky on these delicious biscuits. So chomp away like a tight. I don't know. I'll be the judge of that. Here is what it looks like. It is like a yellow icing with little tiny crystals sprinkles. Doesn't sound like Pocky to me. Hey, but still good. I never had lemon flavor time. But, very interesting. Pretty good. But, I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a six. I'm good, but, I think other flavor to Pocky is better. We are on to our last four items. I know that one of them is one of those DIY Thing, so I'm just going to read what it is and I'm not going to make it here because I don't have the supplies. I'd have to go downstairs and do all this stuff, but I ain't got time for that. And the DIY looks like this. Come home to your own mini feast of Japanese desserts in this fun DIY. You can create a variety of treats with different wagashi, which is a Japanese dessert shapes and enjoy a taste of traditional Japan with a modern DIY candy twist. Ooh. I'm like mochi. That would be very fun to try. The last three things are very small, so let's find out. Ooh. Ah! Bottle sour. Special quality. Japanese that I don't know. <laughs> the bottle sour candy. While this bottle looks like a drink, it is in fact a powdered candy. So maybe I shouldn't have put 
whole bottle in my mouth because it's a lot more than he expected. But not bad, not bad. Um, not really great for your health. Not the best tasting either. Not bad. Mm, I'm gonna give it a four or three. So this is the label for it. Thingy looks. Makin Gummy Cola. Titans don't listen to the old adage. Don't play with your food. Now, you don't have to either with this fun cola gummy. Each pack is shaped after a hand from rock, scissors, paper, and reminiscent of stretchy hand toys. So feel free to play with this handy. <laughs> okay, well, I got rock. It smells like cola again. That must be like be a big thing in Japan. They always have like cola flavored stuff. So I don't think you're supposed to do this, but I'm trying to rip it so I can play with it. Since I can play with the food. False advertising. They're lucky that it was good, but otherwise they would have gotten a, a zero. But it tastes good, so I'm gonna have to give it a four. Eh. Wasn't really crazy about it. Last but not least. <gasps> okay. Chocolate banana. Chocolate bananas are always a favorite at Japanese festivals, and now it's made in candy form for you to enjoy. May you feel like a ban may you feel like a titan eating this bite-sized banana. Let's see how this chocolate banana looks. But how does it taste? Mmm. Mmm. That was pretty awesome because I thought that was just going to be like a chocolate but it, you could taste the banana too with it which is really unique. I would give that a 8 mostly because it was very tiny and I wish it was more of a, a big sauce banana so I could eat more of it but whatever. I think my favorite item had to be the cabbage taro. Yeah, so I think these got a 9 or a 10, but mm -hmm. I think the worst would have to be the Black Thunder Kinako. I'm not saying it's the worst for everyone, but personally I did not like the taste. I didn't like it at all, but who knows, maybe you'll like it. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Love you guys.